And now for a quick disclaimer. The T-Bone and Chick Brew Brew in the morning <laughs> show is for infotainment purposes only. The opinions expressed here do not represent Naval Station Rota, the Armed Forces Network, or the Department of Defense. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> I don't know. I have two microphones. Well, you need two microphones. Why not? You have multiple microphones. I can hear myself in stereo. <laughs> I, I mean, not through these headphones. These headphones no. give me just, you know, me. Hey, right. me. Hello. You oh, look, you pushed the red button. You get one or the other. Yeah, like I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Oh, well, uh, look, the new guy's telling us how it should work. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> just because that's how it is doesn't mean that it's right, right? <laughs> uh, you're trying to take a neutrino bomb on me. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. You know what that nonsense sounds that means? What does it mean? That you're here and it's well, I don't Friday have to be. and I'm here. You have to be here. I don't one, have to be. You can do this by yourself. No, I don't, you don't like need to do me. It. It's not the same without you and you know this. Yes, I am aware. <laughs> it's not called T Bone and Chick Brew in the morning for nothing. It's It's called You're Lucky I Opened the Gate. <laughs> the gate was already open. I opened it. Oh. I it was sticking this morning when I was trying to come through. I was not sure if I was gonna Make it in, you know. I was, I was like, well, like it kind of like jerks back and forth. This it's is terrifying. just get to know you information. Uh, Could have been horrible for our internet listeners. <laughs> uh, we're just, we were kind of talking to our local audience that's not really awake right now and not really functioning. Maybe they're just starting to brew that first cup of coffee. So we don't we don't come in real hard. Um, and forgetting that you are in multiple time zones, we got. I mean, it's a. Uh, it's a little after balls 30 there in the States on the East Coast. It's like uh, 9.30 on the West Coast. It's 6 o'clock in the evening in, in Korea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my so goodness. That's too many. We, we weren't thinking about the different time zone people. We were just kind of leading a, a slow open for the, the people that are just waking up. Well, you know what? Forget them. <laughs> it's Timo. <laughs> And chick brew in the morning. That's right. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. I almost hit someone driving in today. I almost hit several people driving in today, and I almost turned it into a competition. <laughs> you just, know the road between Puerto, I, the, the main drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There was a man uh-huh. walking. Uh huh. Nice, really nice black slacks. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Not reflective at all. Kind of like Creased? so, like so black. It kind of absorbed any light that I could possibly be. Oh. Like so, like no, no sateen in them. Like probably wool. Sateen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm just assuming that they were wool because uh, they were that dark and street ninja. Not reflective at all. And a nice, a really nice black backpack. Oh. And the only thing that made me see him was probably his ashy elbow. So. Good thing he didn't put the lotion on the elbow because I saw one really bright elbow wow. and I was like, that's it. Oh, Saved gosh. Saved by ashy by elbows. the absence of lotion. That's the only thing. And it was <laughs> terrifying for me because it was in the turn uh-huh. and that one sharp turn. And I'm just like, it's five. Was he walking with traffic, against traffic? He was walking with traffic. Oh, so everything he could possibly do yeah. wrong. Yeah. Um, he never saw me. <laughs> that would have just been one of those. Yeah. For yeah. the record. Uh, legally, you'd have been fine. <laughs> I, I mean, you but, know, your but, insurance company would have been a little upset because... Uh, emotionally, I would have been scarred. No, nah, it's all right. Once you run over your first person, uh, you know, the rest become a lot easier. See, I've only been hit by a car twice. You've been hit by a car twice? <laughs> Once I was on a sidewalk, Uh huh. and a valet car parker just, like, jumped the curb and clocked me a little bit. And the other one, I was in a crosswalk... <laughs> During the crossing, a lady decided she was going to go right on red from the middle lane. Oh. And just, like, got my ankle. That's always special. Do you know, do you, this is a no kidding real life trivia question. Do you know what the most dangerous com- country in the world is for a pedestrian? This is no joke. This is a real no kidding trivia question. The UK, because everything's backwards. <laughs> it is not the UK because everything's backwards, because they got those big signs, look left, look left, and mind the gap. Well, we'll give you the answer. You could take a guess for yourself. We'll give you the answer when we come back. 727-1025, or if you want to call from your cell phone, 956-82-1025, or hit us up on the AFN Roto Facebook page if you want to be part of T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. <laughs> Just to make sure we stay on track, we we always talk to each other before the music ends and say, hey, so uh, what are we talking about this time? And uh, it's never exactly what we're supposed to be talking about. Yes, the thing that we're you said we were going to talk about is funny, but, you know, we left them with a trivia question. Oh, yeah, that. 
Oh yeah, what yeah, was yeah. the trivia you question? You don't even pay attention the to traffic. the traffic. Yeah, where are you most likely to get hit by a car? The as most a pedestrian? dangerous place right. in the world for pedestrians. You got three guesses and go. America. Wrong. Quickly. I don't know. Australia. Wrong. Because everything is dangerous in Australia. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I, I already said the UK. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. So you're wrong, wrong, and wrong. And uh, looking over there at the Facebooks, apparently no one tried to guess. And looking at the phone line, yep, there's nothing there. So I'm just going to give you the answer, and I'll, I'll take the prize myself. The correct answer is uh, South Korea. I believe that. Yeah. I've never been there. Well, it sounds like it could be dangerous. Here's the craziest part of that statistic. Do you know where the uh, place you are most likely to get killed as a pedestrian is? Your driveway. No. <laughs> the crosswalk. Oh, yep. That's where I took one of my hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what reminded me of this interesting <laughs> trivia. So uh, for, for, for whatever reason, South Koreans uh, uh, do not believe in distracted driving. They are the masters. Uh, well, obviously not the masters. They are the winners at killing pedestrians. They got that. But when it comes to, to they've got their, they got the K-pop video going on. They got their uh, K soap opera going on. They've got yeah, 1,000 inch televisions on the top of buildings in the middle of traffic circles. Uh, oh, they've I got see their how that phone. I mean, inside their car, they've got so much different type of computers, all for entertainment purposes. And then outside their car, there's the Soju girls dancing on the billboards. There's all of this stuff, and they're driving, and then boom, right in the crosswalk. In the crosswalk of all places. You're supposed to feel safe at a crosswalk. Yeah. Spaniards, my our, our Spanish friends that are listening, don't go to South Korea. No, because I will tell you, I am very cautious, and now I'm overly cautious because they lead with the baby strollers. They lead going with the baby in, strollers, and, and they won't look. No, they no, have, no. You, uh, Spanish people, have such faith in the protection of a crosswalk that you just blindly... Uh, and and I have a lot of envy here. There's just there, I like I, there is I something do. about that leap of faith that I could never do. I like Americans, long neck it. <laughs> Americans are taught from early early age always look right, look right, look left, look right, always every time. And uh, for whatever reason, the Spanish people just crosswalk. I'm safe. So, and in South Korea, you are not safe. I've been hit by two cars, yeah, right? As you mentioned. Once on the in, sidewalk. Uh-huh. And then the week after I got hit by the car on the sidewalk, my boss, Patrick, got hit by a city bus in a crosswalk. And then, like, a few months later, that's when I got hit in the crosswalk by... And where was it? Austin? Austin. Yeah. yeah. Were the driver South Korean? Maybe of the city bus. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my two weren't. Actually, I knew one of the guys because he was a valet and he actually lived in my apartment complex. That was horrible. Yeah, it's it's strange because, you know, we did a lot of running in South Korea. It was a, a blast to run there. Uh, but you were safer jaywalking a 12 lane highway than you were being in the crosswalk. Well, it's because of the lines. It's kind of like they've set you up for a target. Well, yeah. I mean, you treat it like human frogger, and you just uh, (laughs) boink, 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 boink. Yeah, not this morning. I don't have a lot of good to report on people being safe because there's a bunch of people out there who are who are not being safe. But what I can report is uh, these shows are available on the internet, and uh, you can call us. It's a DSN line. It's 314-727-1025. It's a commercial line, 34956-82-1025. We're interested to hear what you got to say about your getting hit by a car experience, and you can always do it for cheap on the AFN Rota Facebook page. Three out of ten would not do again. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't even know what that was. What? Uh, That was Erasure. From what century? Uh, the eighties and early nineties, late eighties. Like Rick Rolled, we just got a, like a, a version of Rick Rolled there. No, that was bad. No, that was wonderful. I... Yes, that's like totally one of my cleaning songs. Really? Yeah. Your house must be filthy because I spotless. I, how can you clean to something like that? Oh my gosh! Like, if that sound puts you to sleep, then we need to have your ears checked. <laughs> Audiology, we are on our way. So, Open up early. T Bone is in need. <laughs> so there's a bunch of things on the in the on the internet about. Uh, so my eyes lately. Every day I wake up, it's like I got in a fight with a cat, and it was just scratching at my irises. It's just oh, God. they're so <laughs> itchy. So I'm reading all these things about cold packs and hot packs, and I bought this thing, and it's a cold and a hot pack. Not at the same time, obviously. That would defy the law of physics. But uh, you can you can microwave it and put it on your face. 
and uh, it's cool. And, and then you could freeze it the next day and put it on your face. And I, I've done a uh, hot treatment and a cold treatment. And, uh, well, let's just say, don't believe everything you read on the internet. <laughs> Was one so, better than the other? I, I did enjoy, well... Uh, if you like a little anxiety when you go to sleep, the hot one was best. <laughs> because it's like, danger, don't overheat this thing or it will explode and kill you. <laughs> Your eyeballs will burn out uh, of yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it felt really nice. Uh, the, the warm one, but at the same time, that lingering thought of, oh my God, did I eat it too much, was there. And the cold one was, that was last night. The cold one was unique. It I... was, uh... I don't know. I can't put cold. Like I've tried like the because I have bad allergies in my eyes and they're sensitive because I'm a delicate flower. And then <laughs> which is ironic because I'm allergic to most flowers. So there's that. And I put the cold mask on my eyes and it gives me like it gives me almost like what feels like a brain freeze headache. Oh, in my but like it, but it like is emanating from my eyes straight into the back of my skull. So that is not really. So I think what we're saying here is homeopathic me. medicine is not real. Eye drops tend to work for me. Eye drops are medicine. That's yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. No, like they yeah. seem to work. <laughs> Homeopathic, like uh, pinching like non, a nerve. Not, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. That, yeah. I mean, sometimes. Cold packs, ice necklaces, crystals. Can we use the word holistic a couple of times a day? That seems to be the, the latest that, popular that we're going buzzword. With? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, if you want to. <laughs> holistic music break. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 727-1025. Yeah, what... <laughs> 956-821025 if you're calling from a cell phone out in town. It's T-Bone at Chick Brew in the morning. If you want to be part of the show, call us or hit us up on the AFN Road to Facebook page. There's more interesting stuff coming. Here's some holistic <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> Taylor Swift. What? T-Bone. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting to hear the music. I know it's a slow intro. This is for you, Dave. One of our favorite fans. Here we go. A little background of this. Yes, come on now. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yes. It's T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. <laughs> We're going to rock you all weekend long, baby. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Uh, it's strange that the uh, the intro to that song is longer than the song itself. Yes, the intro is 30 seconds. The entire length of that song is three minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, whatever works for you. So, uh, it's post-feria. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, by the way, I just put the Feria show up there on the internet for everybody so they can see oh. that. I forgot to tag you in it. I you see know. how it is. Yeah, but I kind of thought you would, like, I, I... see stuff that I post, but apparently not. Anyway. No, no. So that's available for listening pleasure. This will be available for listening pleasure soon. Um, how was your Feria? So I am, I like Feria uh-huh. for, like, one day. I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can do a solid one like one venture out and it was wonderful actually i had a really good time mm-hmm. went out to the roto uh, feria on friday uh good friends were in town mandy and orlando oh yeah yeah that yeah. was wonderful uh-huh. you remember the old uh ceo here uh several ceos which one captain Picari. yeah 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 saw him i did not know he was in town i didn't either until we were actually leaving we we're getting uh-huh. ready we're doing like the last walkthrough and there he was it was uh, wonderful to see him. You again. sure it wasn't a lookalike. I'm going to tell you something about uh. Spain. No, because seriously, <laughs> I and I just saw this last night. I saw another doppelganger uh, for a friend of mine, uh, Don Blade. I see them all the time. I've seen a doppelganger in Spain for Jeremy Clarkson. You're sitting I've, across from Halle Berry's. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeremy Clarkson. I've seen one for Richard May. I've seen uh, I, I, everywhere I go. I there's the the famous woman up in Galicia that looks like Donald Trump. Uh, in Spain, they breed lookalikes. Well, if it was a lookalike, he knew far too much about <laughs> my past time here. So I'm going to just oh, assume and, that it was the original. I, I didn't, I, when you say you saw him, I didn't know you spoke to him. Well, of course I spoke oh, to him. Oh, okay. I, I don't speak to anybody. I I, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, me and, and, and... Okay, so that was Friday. What about Saturday? So I was supposed to go to Puerto Feria on Saturday. Uh-huh. But some of my friends were very interested in going because they like to dance and like do... The Feria. whole, right. yeah. So, uh, but they couldn't get a babysitter. Uh huh. So I immediately raised my hand uh-huh. and said, I would rather babysit than go to Feria. All and right. so I did that instead. I got to stay inside where it was dry. Uh huh. Put the kids in front of a television and put in a video. Well, no, it was one kid, and we talked about Harry Potter for a solid two hours, and it was wonderful. That does not sound wonderful at all. It was great. <laughs> 
Yeah. Better me than you. That's all about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I had the, the wonderful pleasure of going on Friday to check out the scenery with my boy Zeus. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he doesn't like Feria that much. It's very strange for him. But everybody at Feria loves him. Oh, of course. And then, uh, of course, the next day, the, the running group, we, we made our way through uh, Feria. Very popular uh, out there. A uh, lot of pictures of the very good-looking men uh, mm. running along in, in their best Feria attire. That was a uh, very very popular. So uh, that that those pictures kind of sort of went viral. I, I know it's been shared like over two hundred times, and uh, there was a 90, 98, 99 percent like super happy. Like this is great. These these guys are having a blast. Everyone's laughing and ja 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 and ole ja 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 and ole go together. Apparently yes yes they do. And uh, and then there's like that one percent of people are like ah oh, this is horrible and they're disrespecting our culture and oh that that is not the intent at all. How many years have you guys done the the ferry? That was uh, that was ferry run number four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, We're a little bit behind on the ferry runs. Last year was Santa run number five. This year will be Santa run and bull run number five. We got some big runs coming up this year. We do have some big ones. I'm probably going to participate in one eventually. Uh, Well, I already kicked you out of the group because you never participated. Uh, Don't worry. You can ask to come back. (laughs) So uh, we're going to go back to the music for a little bit. You still got an opportunity to call if you got anything you want to say or or not or complain. uh, I think I'm going to kick you out of the group because you're not participating. uh, 956-82-1025. If you're calling from your cell phone, hit us up on the AFN Rota Facebook page. We'll be back to talk about your traffic safety going into the weekend. See, I've turned off your microphone. See how that works? <laughs> your dance moves are so precious. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I know how to dance, especially <laughs> seated dancing. Right. Like, this is where I'm in my zone. The is seated right here. twerk. Yeah, the seated, the, the T-bone seated twerk. Signature move. Need some alliteration for that. The T-bone twerk. Yeah, you got to leave the seated out of it. Well, you just know if it's the T bone twerk, it's a the seated, seated twerk. twerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> we'll be we'll be recording and uploading a tutorial sometime <laughs> in the near <neighbor> future. <laughs> so <laughs> stick um, elbows out like chicken. Yeah, gyrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and wiggle. All right, <laughs> All wiggle right. is what I do best. Wiggle, wiggle, <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Oh, Brr. that's a song that we could play. <laughs> One of my favorites. So. <laughs> Here's here is uh, the motivational opportunity for greatness for all of you going into this weekend. I'm going to give you an exercise, and I'm going to see if you can do that. The exercise is this: when your phone, or your watch, or any smart device that you have makes a noise, count the number of seconds you can go without checking it out. Yeah. Are, are you so tied to the electronic devices in your life that your response, even if you're in communication with someone, even if you're talking to someone, your immediate response is to ignore the human being that you are talking to, to look at the device, whether it be your watch or whether it be your phone. Are you that, are you that much of a slave to technology? And if you are... Just count the seconds. You Let said the thing slave, make a noise. and I immediately thought of the Britney Spears song. I have no idea what Britney Spears song is. Slave to Technology? No. That's a good name for a song. That's a good band name right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. And it's all techno. <laughs> <laughs> Made just of ringtones and, and pings and vibrations. So when your ping and your vibration and your noises go off, just, just uh, resist the urge to immediately check it because you're you're doing the Pavlov dog experiment there. What you're doing is you're training yourself to always just grab that phone. Grab the, even when you're having human contact with another human being and the thing makes a noise, you ignore the human being in front of you and you reach for something. And this is why it's important because if you train yourself, if you're doing if you're if you're practicing a bad habit repeatedly, it's going to be your bad habit. And and from personal experience, today, I did it, and I'm so regretful, and I have to work on this, so we'll work on it together. Because you sent me a message while I was driving, and it came to my phone, and then my phone sent it to my watch, and what did I do? I looked right at my watch, and I looked at my watch, and I saw your name, and I was like, what am I doing? I know better than this. This is this is how people get run over in the dark that aren't wearing reflective clothing, is because I took the extra two seconds to look at my watch when I should have been paying attention to the road. Paying attention to the road while you're driving. When you are driving, it is the most dangerous thing you will do every day of your life. It is It is how many, many people die all the time. 11 teenagers a day in the States right now. The AAA is saying 11 teenagers a day die from distracted driving. And that's not just texting and driving. That's looking at your phone and driving. That's looking at your watch and driving. Just 
everybody, just work together. Just try this experiment. When the thing makes the thing that you own, that you bought, that you're in power over, makes a noise, don't let it train you to pick it up and to look at it immediately. Just start counting off some seconds. Maybe it isn't that important. And when it comes to driving, I can tell you, it is definitely not that important. Whatever you telling me that the gate's a little sticky this morning could have cost somebody their life. Did you and think you of know, that? And you know I'm chill. I'm not going <laughs> to lose my mind over it. I'll be like, oh, I must be driving. <laughs> yeah. So that's your experiment taking you into the weekend. It's one thing to make you a better person. Try to do everything better. Try to be the best person that you could be. Do some random act of kindness. If you were a great person yesterday, try to be an even better person tomorrow. This has been T-Bone. Chick Brew. And Chick Brew. What is wrong with you in interrogative words? This has been T-Bone. And Chick Brew. In the morning. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next Friday. Oh.